I'm a little bit of a mess today. I mean, I'm a little bit of a mess more than just today, but today I'm especially feeling it. So I have just decided that we're gonna go into this vlog knowing that. I'm not gonna say this is a messy vlog, but I'm saying I am messy and this is my vlog. I got a package from Abercrombie, four things. Three things are white tops. I'm anticipating that I'm not gonna love all of these the same, so I'll probably return one, but I had an Abercrombie gift card that I got for Christmas and I really wanted to get another pair of their relaxed jeans. Oh, I'm just gonna grab the other pair that I have that are up there. But they're the ones that I wore in my try on video for the coats for my closet clean out and I wear them all the time. They're my number one favorite jeans, my favorite cut of jean. I have removed myself from the straight leg jean club. They just don't look as good on me. They're fine, but they're not my favorite thing in the world. I'm a very straight up and down person. My body, flat Stanley. So I like the fact that the, the relaxed ones aren't bell bottoms totally, but I do lean towards things like that. This is just a boxy white t-shirt that's called the Essential Easy Tee. And then I got the Essential Rib Boy Tank. Don't know why it's called a boy tank but it's better than, you know, that word that they used to call rib white tank tops. And then this is the Essential Rib 90s Tuckable Tee. So I think the last two at least, uh, probably won't be keeping both depending on how they look. I just wasn't sure. And the reason I placed the order, these finally came back in stock. The Abercrombie jeans are just as good as everybody says. The only issue is you have to be on top of it when you wanna order them. They sell out fast. This is their 90s relaxed jean in my regular size. And this is just like a darker blue color. I guess I'll grab the other one that I have to compare and contrast. This is the color I already have and I wanted a dark wash, but not dark, dark, you know? Okay, let's try these on. No. Oh, no, there's gapping in the back. I'm so annoyed. The length, I get them in long, but sometimes the different washes fit differently. Oh, that is so frustrating. Well, while we're here, I guess we'll still do the shirt dry on though. It's pretty cute. The sleeves are definitely longer than a lot of the other white tees that I have and then untucked. It's not super long. It's also like a nice material. It's really soft, but it's not too thin and also not stiff. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not wearing a nude bra. I'm wearing like a very light pink, which usually shows a lot under white t-shirts. And this one is like hardly showing at all. I kind of like this. I feel like this is like a good white tee. I usually don't like to wear bras under tank tops, but I feel like I should show you this with the bra because with how the straps are cut, you could definitely wear a bra with this. But now we have to do the true test. Is it see-through? Take your top off. We've got some nips. We've got nips. Kind of a hot level in it, so. I think you can tell the sheerness of it. That's the tag. You can like read the whole thing. And the final white tank. This one is pretty much the same level of sheerness, but the neckline is slightly different and it is also like kind of cropped. The other one was a little bit more tuckable. Like it's not gonna ride up enough to show much skin. So the neckline's just a little bit different and the back is higher. Oh, why do I want to keep all three? Not a hit, but not a total miss. So kind of par for the course for online shopping. Definitely keeping the t-shirt, but I'm low-key wanting to keep both of the tank tops too. Multiple white tank tops, never killed anybody. That's why we changed them to white tank tops instead of the other name because those people did. Okay, I have to remember this video is sponsored, Megan Con. Brand friendly, brand friendly. I've got some house updates to show you, but let's do one in real time because I did a DIY. I know. No, my friend definitely did loosen up our front door handle. She was like, did I break this? And I was like, no. Oh, I think mm, just a little bit, babe. That's okay. I seem to have lost one of the parts of the DIY. I don't know where it is. So I can't find it. The DIY I did was I finally spray painted the vent that goes into the bathroom gold. I didn't totally clean it off all the way, so it's a little discolored, but I like it because it looks more natural. We got this mesh wiring to put behind them to you know, finally fix the problem of the cockroach. We've just had tinfoil over the vents <laughs> this whole time. So I spray painted this gold as well to match, and then I spray painted the screws gold, and I must have not brought them in, and I left them outside, and then it was windy, and like they might be anywhere in the yard. I need to call Mods and ask him if he knows where they are. He was the one who brought them inside, which was doing me a favor, but... <sighs> okay. Well... Wait, I just found one. I found one on the floor of our second bathroom. What? Hey! Ow! Sorry, I hit myself on the head. Do you know where the gold screws are that I spray painted for the bathroom vent? No. 
What are you up to? Oh, there's a bug. Is that a spider? Um. Oh my god, that is a spider. I wrapped up the laundry mat and I just pulled into Home Depot. Why are you going to Home Depot? I promise I don't normally do it. Okay. Alright, I love you. Love you too. We're a Lowe's family. Hi, it's the next day. I wanted to give you all a house update. I haven't done that in a while and we've actually gotten some stuff done. I showed you the dining room table in the last vlog and we actually got dining room chairs. I made a whole presentation for mods with all these different examples on Canva. Canva. One of the ones that we ended up both really liking was from Target, relatively affordable compared to the other options. And then I found them on Facebook Marketplace for I think like half as what they would have been retail. So now that we have the chairs done, I've been playing around with different rug and lighting options. So I will include some of these. We'd love to know what you think. We still have to hang the giant circular mirror in the wall in the dining room. Mots and I can't totally remember how we did it last time. Like if we hired a handyman to do it, if we had one who like helped us do it, or if we did it ourselves. We just don't really remember. So we've both kind of just been putting it off. My friend Kyle is coming into town and Mots's parents will be in town for just one night. So we feel like with all of those people involved, we should probably be able to figure it out. Our plan is for that to go on the wall that is opposite the window. So it reflects a lot more light in there. And then I have been toying with the idea of putting a built-in, like a faux built-in, or I guess, well, we're not gonna cut out the wall. We're gonna build it on top of the wall. <laughs> Bookshelves on the other wall. There's a bunch of Ikea Billy bookcase hacks and this one specifically, I love. Mats is a huge reader. This is like, like not even a fraction of the amount of books that he has. He has so many books. I did think about putting two bookcases, maybe like the CB2 style ones that are like ladders on either side of the windows in the living room, like on the bay window. But I do think it's gonna cut a lot of that light and I don't like that as much. Hopefully we can do this built-in thing, but we just have to figure out if there's enough room. Still loving our frame TV. Did I ever show you it? I need to like, I need to figure out like which picture I wanna do for spring because we had a winter one for a while. We replaced our shower head and we finally got a filter for it and it has been life-changing. If you live somewhere with hard water, you have to do it. You have to do it. Like <laughs> my hair is not nearly as tangled. It's softer. It stays clean longer. It feels like it gets more clean. It's just so much more manageable and it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. We're still waiting to finally order the final part. So it looks all gold, but it's gorgeous. And it makes me feel gorgeous. I have to level with all of you. I've had explosive diet. I don't know what's up. I think it's because, well, I know it's because I ate some Chipotle. I know, I did it to myself. Do you ever have it where you eat it one time, rips your insides out and you're like, no, I'm not having it. And then months and months and months go by. You have it again and you're fine. And so then you're like, am I gonna have it again? I need to stop. <laughs> Anyways, just had to get that off my chest. Now on to the project we are currently tackling. We are transforming the kitchen. It's a mini transformation. Think of it like a non-surgical facelift. Ta -da, ta -da. We are finally replacing the vinyl tiles in our kitchen with cute little peel and stick ones. These floors are the worst part about this house. Truly, like they're hideous. This is just really an interim fix before we eventually get our kitchen redone. And I think it'll also give us a good idea if we like this style. This is the style again, if you've forgotten the last three seconds. I'm obsessed with checkered kitchens. I love them. Mots really likes them as well. So it is something that we've thought about doing when we do eventually do the big remodel. If you are a renter, like this is renter friendly as well. I will link it down below where I got it. It was by far the most affordable of the peel and stick flooring that I could find online. And it's also a good incentive for me to get this done before people come into town. My friend Kyle's never seen the house. And then Mats's parents have seen the house, obviously, like a good number of times. But I can be like, look at all of this that we've gotten done. Like it, it feels like a very visual, visual, 
visible change. <laughs> but before we get into that, we have to thank today's sponsor, which is incredibly fitting. I'm stoked about it if you can't tell. So thank you to today's sponsor, Element. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have been on a health journey. I went to the cardiologist a few months ago and described all of my symptoms. We ran some tests and do you know what he prescribed me? Salt. He told me that I needed to replenish and have more electrolytes. I then went on my Instagram and I asked all of you, which one should I try? Because there are some major ones that have gluten in them. I I cannot have gluten. So here I was being like, oh, I guess I will just pour salt into my water, my plain water. That's what I was doing before this. Was I a barnacle? Overwhelmingly, the number one thing I was recommended was Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that has everything you need and nothing you don't. It doesn't have any of the junk in it. There's no sugar, no coloring, there's no artificial ingredients, no fillers, no gluten. I want effective. I don't need the accoutrements. I'm not an athlete in case you didn't know. I honestly thought replenishing electrolytes was for athletes or maybe for me in extenuating circumstances. But since I started incorporating this into my daily life, my quality of life has improved. You know those analogies where like you wake up one day and you're a two and you're like, well, oh, it can only go down from here. It's gonna be way harder to get up to a 10. Or you wake up at like an eight or like a seven. And you're like, okay, cool. It's gonna take me a while to get down, but I can get up pretty quickly. This just makes me feel like my tank is starting at a higher level every single day. It can be after you work out. If you are an alcohol drinker, I am not. But after you've had a cocktail, if it's hot out, if you're someone who runs really warm or you're just a sweater, you're not like a physical sweater, but like you're someone who sweats, Element can help prevent and eliminate things like headaches, sleepiness, fatigue, muscle cramps, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency that you might not even know that that's what that is. And right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packs for free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share with a salty friend. I'm good, you don't, you don't have to share with me. But if you have a friend in your life, you're like, mm, they're gonna like Megan. That is your designated salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Megan. This deal is available only through my link. So go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Megan. Megan with an H. This is a match made in heaven. My cardiologist would head over heels for me fangirling over electrolytes. I'd be like, yeah, I told you. Why do you think I got that MD? And I'm like, I don't know. These are the current floors. Peeling up a little bit. I know this is not the simplest project, but as I'm looking at this, I'm like, this should be so easy. This is gonna take me five minutes. I know it's not. I know it's gonna take me longer, but it's perfect because look, these squares fit perfectly on these squares. The issue is, is once we get to these ones and those, that's gonna involve measuring and like cutting with an X-Acto knife, which is not my strong suit. Watch some tutorials online and they recommend starting in the center. I don't know why, but I, I feel like they know why. And so that's what I should probably do. And I think that's gonna be the plan. I also do not necessarily anticipate me finishing this all today. Moss will definitely help at night because when we get to the measuring and the math, it's gonna be hard. Mm, what's the first step? Taking this out might actually be the first, first step, but I don't really wanna do that. I'm gonna take them out, lay them out where they should go before we start sticking them down. That seems right, right? I should do more research, but I should take my men before I do that because it's not happening without it. laid out so far. This is almost four boxes. I haven't stuck it down yet, but that's the next step. I could sit around and wait all day. Brighter 
good chunk of progress. We've definitely got a ways to go. It's also making me rethink this color combo. Actually, I didn't put any thought into this color combo. I pretty much knew this color combo would not be great, so maybe the next fun project will be painting the cabinets for the intern. I just got off the phone with Mats and he's on his way home. We will see what he thinks so far of this. He is my number one fan though, so even if he hated it, he would be like, I love it, it's amazing. <laughs> great job, chicken, this looks so good. My bet is he'll go, chicken, this looks so good. What are you talking about? Because I told him it didn't look great. It's not that like it doesn't look good aesthetically. It's just that I maybe have not put the time and care in to it that I should have. And I'm realizing I should have lifted up the original vinyl flooring first. But hey, I'm impatient. This is my current hyperfixation and then fixing it, well, we're gonna hope that will be a hyperfixation in a couple weeks. Oh, Ted. I think it's looking pretty damn good. They don't all line up well, because I just didn't totally fit into it. I disagree. I think it looks really good. Does it make you feel like we definitely need to change the color of the cabinets so? up? Yes. Why? Well, I mean, I think you and I both felt that way regardless. So, how do you want to do this? Cook dinner? Yeah. I'll tidy up. I'm really impressed. Thank you. Well done! Look at you! <laughs> you did such a good job! I'm so impressed! It was the long gig and I anticipated what you were gonna say and I almost did it for bait. I was like, chicken, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I think this looks great. Okay. No, I love it. I have a stomach flow. Ooh, fun day three plot twist. finally starting to feel better. I need to clean. <laughs> the house is in desperate need of it and finally like reassemble the kitchen so I can show you the final reveal. I'm so tired. I'm still a little shaky because food and water were not staying in my system for more than uh, five minutes. If you get what I mean. I took my meds, we'll wait for them to kick in and then we will get started. Woo! New location unlocked here on my front porch. I am going to finagle the wire into the vent. Did I find the other screw? No, I did not. We'll figure it out. <sighs> okay, I lied. I cannot get the glue open. I was gonna say, but at least I restrained myself from trying to use my teeth because it's E6000 and it's very poisonous. But I didn't, I used my teeth. But I didn't continue using my teeth. Okay, well. So this is the issue. Do you see sort of like adhesive marks? So I need to find the goo gone so I can get these up. I need to get the goo gone from under the sink. And I just looked for it. I saw it dead cockroach. So let's just try it. Okay, it's in there. Oh my god, I'm so afraid. Why is it the second you start doing stuff like this, your nose itches? You know, I think that looks pretty good, especially because there's only one screw. I feel like it's my duty to share what I would do differently. First, I would have removed our original vinyl flooring. Do the directions say you should do that? Yes. Did I read those after I already committed to not doing that? Also yes. In my mind, I was just too far in and I didn't want to stop and correct my mistake midway through and instead I decided I wanted to complete the whole thing and then fix the whole thing later. <laughs> Another mistake was paying attention to the directions that were on the back of 
each individual tile. No, they're not all printed exactly the same because like I said, it was the most affordable option. So you need to kind of go through and sift through each of them to see which way you turn them makes them fit the best. Next would be, uh, if I could have the choice, I would not have Dyscalcula. I'm not good with numbers. I'm not good with measurements. I'm also really not good at like estimating sizes or like orientations of shapes or anything like that. So I did a lot of things backwards thinking I did them right and then I would correct them and then they would be like and more backwards, whatever it was. It was just <laughs> stressful. And I would get something that cuts in a straight line. The X-Acto knife was great, but again, you know, something that you can like lever down and it fully cuts in a straight line. And finally, I would try and level out your area as much as possible. Again, if we had lifted the original vinyl flooring up, that would have solved that problem for us. But if they are not laying perfectly flat and there's something a little bit higher than the other, like one edge, the adhesive is very sticky so everything gets trapped in it. My socks have gotten stuck in it, hair has gotten stuck in it. You get adhesive on your fingers and you touch the adhesive somewhere else. So I would also probably recommend having Goo Gone on you or something to remove any adhesive from your fingers, whatever shoes you're wearing or your socks, other tiles, because it spreads fast. I wouldn't order more than we did. I already rounded up when I was doing all of the measurements. So we have more than enough and we have some left over to like fix any spots. So that was not an issue, but I think that's all the things that in the experience of installing them I would I would change I'm excited that it's done I really like it again I will link it down below and yeah that's it for the video I honestly love having a project like a DIY I'm pretty into it so if you have any recommendations of things that you think that I should tackle next comment them down below and I guess that's it so I'll see you next time goodbye